All right, let's talk about the timing tool a little bit. This is the flat bar that goes to the back of your kit. Once you have it lined up, it'll only go one way. One is shorter than the other. I believe the intake's longer than the exhaust. So if you look at the back of the camshaft, this is an intake camshaft. Uh, it goes in that slot and there is a little bit of play there. So you will see that you can move it a little bit and you'll find where it fits perfectly. The other thing is your bridge lock. This bridge lock goes to the front of the camshaft and it goes on the flat sides right in front of this hex gear. And the way that that sits on it, let's move this magnetic sprocket lock, is it sits like so. There's a little bit of movement there. You can see I'm turning it left to right. So when you're locking both of them, make sure they're snug up on both and torque it somewhat before you screw it down with your M6 bolt. So that as you're screwing this down, this is torqued sideways and it's holding it in place nice and tight. So let's put this back. The next thing that you'll do is your magnetic sprocket lock. Uh, this tells the ECU where the camshafts are with timing. Uh, this is for the passenger side. The reason why I know is because there's that one pin just on the right or middle of the engine. And this sits like so in front of your cam adjusters on both sides, intakes and exhaust. And that will line up your magnetic sprocket that way. These holes line up with dowels on a cylinder head so that um, tells you exactly where you need it to be let's put that back amazing even on this it only goes in one way funny um, last is your lash gear lock so what you're gonna see is that uh, these guys are gonna be part number up and you are gonna find that mine actually didn't come with the bolt for it to screw it down. So your cam adjuster is gonna be aligned, okay? So that when you're taking it off, it's easy to put this on. And uh, that's pretty much it for that work. You can remove everything and reassemble.